Hi Aquarius, welcome to your week ahead horoscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. <clears throat> it's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose and it resonates hit that subscribe button if you are already a continued subby you know I love you for it. With that said if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can do so on the website address below. If you haven't got it yet your winter solstice alignment activation session C is waiting for you it happens here on the 21st of December there's still spaces and there's still time with that said I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise they help us on our paths to our highest vibrational good so let's have a look my sun sign brothers and sisters this week when I went into my intuition what I saw for us was um I saw it like a 3D building and I was like, okay, so why are you showing me this building? Because the building itself was gold. And I was like, okay, it looks really beautiful. What is it? And when, when I asked what it was, uh, I was told it was a sanctuary. Whether this is you providing one or whether it's you seeking sanctuary, it is provided this week. And it might be that you're providing this for somebody else. It may be that there's a difficult family conversation this week and that's the feeling that I get from this. If you haven't seen it, check out the Weekly General um, because it will make a lot of sense. I feel like relationships are really going to come under fire this week. Um, I'm not sure, what, actually no, I think I am sure why. I think it's because Venus is conjunct Pluto at the moment and I feel like the, the after effects of that is going to kind of shape up over the course of this next week. So... Um, yeah, it really feels for me like if there might be a fallout of some sort, it might be that there's a difficult conversation that's had this week. Yours will be the voice of reason. You will be the person that offers or provides sanctuary. If this is happening around or to you, it suggests that sanctuary will be provided for you as well. All right. So whichever side of this coin you're on, you're going to be all right. Your destiny card for the week ahead is... The Magician card, you have the power, right? This is a beautiful card because it suggests communication. It suggests as long as you are speaking the truth, or as long as you're speaking your truth, you will be heard and received in the best way, shape or form. The fact that you've got the Magician card as well suggests that you have the power to be heard. You have the power to say things that might be challenging to say and have them received in the best way. You might this week be able to perceive things that other people can't, which means that you could be doing what Aquarius does best and playing the moderator or the mediator between certain people. Now also with the magician card it, this makes you a master communicator but also a master manifester so it's important that you really think this week about what it is that you want to provide you know especially in, you know well yeah what it is that you want to provide for yourself and for the world at large. Let's give this some context and this week the direction card for this, okay, that one seems to want out, is the Ace of Cups. This is beautiful. This is an energy where your heart space is overflowing. This is about love. It's about the root powers of water, right, which is about love, intuition, emotions, and healing. The fact that you've got this in the direction card, this sanctuary could be something that you're providing, but it could be something that's provided to you. For a lot of you, this is a wish fulfilled. This could be about something that you might have said to the universe, look, you know what, do this for me, and in return, I'll do this, this, and this. I will say this to you. If you've petitioned the universe for something and it shows up for you this week, be prepared to give something back. Uh, what I mean by that is not to say that otherwise it will be taken, but that's how it works, right? If you ask the universe for something and it delivers, give something back, whether it's to somebody else, maybe it's something of a charitable nature, maybe this is you planning to do some form of charity work, but it really does look like you yourself this week, Aquarius, have a beautiful wish fulfilled. Your heart space is overflowing. This is about love, it's about abundance, and it's also about blessings that arrive in your life in response to the work that you've been doing when it comes to your manifesting skills, which is beautiful, right? That's a great energy to have. So your insight card for the week ahead, or should I say our insight card, 
is the temperance card. There is definitely a spiritual flavor or energy that pervades and uh, that permeates this entire week. This card is about finding balance, but it's also about understanding the meaning behind things. This could be a week where you really get a glimpse of, you know, what I'm actually thinking of here is, you know, the serenity prayer. Um, no, not the serenity prayer. Uh, you know the um, it's the the what is the, the the prayer that I'm thinking of? It's the footsteps. It really could be that this week you have a moment of pure gratitude where you're kind of really made aware of just how much the universe has your back, just how much the universe has provided you with, and there could be this overflowing heart of gratitude this week that you're really broadcasting out to the world um, and it could really see you understanding where sanctuary has been provided for you even in moments where you couldn't understand things right beautiful beautiful card there could be a lot of spiritual realizations this week and there's definitely some form of blessing or abundance that takes place for us this week um, and it sees you feeling just really really grateful feeling really overflowing with love with gratitude uh, and this could be for your people it could be in your personal life uh, it might even be in your professional life right because we've got the magician card there as well but whatever is said and done this is going to be a fantastic week for Aquarians I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you take care and I'll see you soon